All right, so let's start with the parallax. So uh, as usual, let's go to materialize.css website. Okay, by Google. And then let's go to JavaScript because it used JavaScript. And let's go to parallax. Now, as you can see, this is what we will be working on. Let me go ahead and read it for you. So parallax is an effect where the background content or image in this case is moved at a different speed than the foreground content while scrolling. Okay, check out the demo to get a better idea of it. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. But let me show you. This is how the parallax is being coded. And of course, since it's used JavaScript, we need to have jQuery and we need to have init or initialization. All right. We'll also be discussing the option. And yes, that will be it. Let's open the demo. All right. So as you can see, let me maximize it for you. Um, there is a nav bar here, so we'll also try to replicate this. And then this is the parallax, guys. So uh, the difference between uh, a parallax and a simple flat image is that when you scroll it, it also moves, okay? Hence the, the name parallax, all right? So as you can see here, parallax is an effect where the background content or image, in this case, is moved at a different speed than the background. Kaya nagkakaroon ng parang medyo nakakahilong effect. But it is a very uh, nice thing then. Alright, so this is the demo um, code. And as you can see, there are two. Uh, one in the middle of the web page as well. Alright, so let me go ahead and save this. And then the other one as well, I'm going to save it to the folder that I, I will be creating. So I actually already created the folder here. So it has, yeah, I saved the photo here named Parallax 1 and the photo 2, Parallax 2. All right. So let's go ahead and start. So let's drag it over here as usual. Okay. And let me close this one. And as you can see, there's already photos in here. So that's what we saved on the folder. Let's create index.html, okay, for our HTML. And also, if we will be needing CSS, um, where should I put it? Okay, let's go ahead and do style.css. All right. There we go. So I would like to show the preview so I know how exactly it looks like. And also let's do word wrap. Mm, okay, it didn't work. But let's go ahead and create our base codes. Okay. So as you can see, we already have our base code. The first thing that I need to do is to change the title. So let's do parallax. I hope I'm spelling it correctly. All right. And then since we're using, again, a component of Materialize, which is Parallax, let's go to Materialize CSS, the main page. And let's click Get Started. We'll be copying both. This time, kailangan talaga parehas. Okay, because we're working on a script. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm pangit niya. So that is word wrap. Uh, that should be turned on, the word wrap. There you go. And I will also create the comment here for style.css. And I'll type in link and link the style.css. Let's see. Follow link. There you go. Okay, uh, aside from the, the materialize uh, here, I will also put materialize here, the script part. So there you go, JavaScript, because materialize, some of the components uses um, JavaScript. So it's not gonna work if you're not gonna put it here. There you go, okay. 
And aside from that, we also going to be adding, you know, um, the initialization part, right? So let me show it to you. There's initialization. So we need jQuery. Okay. So how do we find jQuery? So all you need to do is look for jQuery CDN on Google. So J and then query space CDN or look for CDN JS. Okay, I think that's better. So let's uh, look for CDN JS. Okay, ayan, ayan siya. Okay, and punta kayo kay jQuery. All right. So what you're gonna get here is no, actually, uh, whatever I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in just the word jQuery CDN. I think that's the best keyword that we can get. Okay, jQuery CDN. Forget the the other one. Okay. So as you can see, you have your first um site here. This is what we're looking for. Just click the jQuery CDN. And I would like you to choose the first one, which is the most up-to-date one. And there are lots of options here, uncompressed, minified, slim, slim, minified. So once again, we will go with minified. And then copy this. Once you have copied it, uh, we are going to put it above the materialized at the bottom page. Okay, so let's put it here. Let's... Uh huh. Yeah, I use ko lang ito. Uh, and we all actually need to include a comment. This would be J query. Okay. All right. So uh, we are done with this. We already have all what we need here to start. Now let's start copying then. All right, so let's begin with the nav bar. Okay, as, as, if you can still remember how to do the nav bar, that would be wonderful. So let's begin with the div with a class of nav bar, nav bar. So that's div, then with a class of nav bar. If you want to have it fixed, uh, naka fix sa taas, and then you can choose navbar dash dash fixed. But since I just wanted a simple navbar, let's just do that. And then I want uh, something like a shadow. Okay. All right. So if I want a shadow, then I'm gonna put. Let's see. But before I put the shadow, I'll put the nav first. Okay, lang hindi siya nag type in. There you go. There you go. I already have a nav uh, with a class of. Yan nga kasi maglagi ng shadow, so I'm gonna put Z dash um, depth dash two or maybe four. This will definitely highlight the parallax, okay? And then what I'm gonna do next would be, mm -hmm, maybe I can change the color. No, uh, I think I'm gonna stick with this uh, color. Okay, but if you want to change the color, for example, it won't, if you want teal, maybe we can try teal. All right, let's do teal then, okay? So inside this nav class, uh, I'm gonna put the the name materialize here. However, um, if I put materialize here without any container or wrapper, pupunta lang siya sa gilid. So what we're gonna be doing is we'll be adding um, a nav wrapper. So that's another div. Okay, that's gonna be with a class of nav wrapper very important in nav wrapper guys okay mm -hmm. then what i'm gonna do is para siguradong hindi didikit so let's do a container 
div with a class of container. Ayan, dami na nating code. Okay, saka ako ngayon ilalagay itong, lilinisin ko lang yung mga spaces dito ha. Ayan, para maganda. Saka ako dito lalagyan guys ng, ano pang ilalagay natin dito, yung ating link na logo, brand logo. So, how do we do that? So, we can type in A, kasi pwede siyang gawing link. And let's type uh, materialize here. Materialize. Okay, masyado maliit. As you can see, maganda dito. Malaki. Okay, so maybe we can actually try to, let me check. To stylize this. Since um, this is not a paragraph, um, this is also... Um, Basically, this is our brand logo. So you can put any here. You can put our uh, actual logo here. So you can do image or icon as well. Uh, but since this is um, just a simple A link, let's go ahead and stylize na lang. Okay? So style. Hindi ko muna lalagyan ng link. Style. Anong gagawin natin sa style? Siyempre gusto ko ang font size niya is malaki. So, font size. Very straightforward. And then, ayan na yung pagpipilian. So, I want extra large. And then, what else? I also would like to um, maybe change the font family. Yun yung uh, font. Font family. Um, let's go ahead and try uh, sans serif. Mm, I guess that will work. Okay. So, pwede ni siya. And then, um, hindi na, maglalagay pa ba tayo ng, ano, ng navigation link dito? Siguro hindi na muna. But I'm gonna show you. Uh, let, let me try to copy from my old, um, okay, let's see. From my old work. So, let me try the, the navigation to put it here. Kung ano lang itsura niya. Ayan. So, usually, ito, yung, ito nga yung navigation natin. Oh, video services about, but um, I think it's not necessary since parallax lang naman ang kailangan natin. Okay. So, we're, get, we're done with the nav bar. So, let's go ahead and um, type a comment here nav bar. Okay, next. Ang next naman natin is yung mismo parallax. Uh, no. Let me go ahead and do a comment here. There you go. Parallax. And ano daw ang sabi dito? Pag parallax is we need to do this code. Okay. So parallax kailangan natin ng div with a class of parallax container. So, meron ding container ng sarili ang parallax. Then, after that, uh, we will do the div with a class of parallax. So, bukod sa container, may mismong parallax ka. And then, dun mo ilalagay ngayon sa division na yon ang ating image, as you can see here. Okay? So, let's try to um, to do that. Okay. Here, let's go ahead and type div. This time with a class of parallax dash container. All right. And then uh, we'll do the div with a class of parallax. Iba pa siya. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, dito sa gitna, dito natin ilalagay yung image. So, anong image ang gusto natin? Try natin itong parallax one. So, image, img, yung source is parallax one. And then, alt is, for example, ano bang, ano to? Um, seaside or 
Let's kunyari Venice. Ito yung hindi naman lalabas to agad-agad. Ito na may pag naglo-load lang, lalabas yung text niya dito. Okay. So as you can see, hindi siya gumana kasi meron siyang initialization. All right. So let's first try to initialize. Okay. So let's see here where's the initialization part. Ah, uh, ito. So dahil may jQuery na tayo, as you can see here, ito yung jQuery. Ilalagay natin at saka ito yung JavaScript ni materialize. Ilalagay natin dito sa ilalim. Kailangan sa ilalim, ito ang sunod-sunod niya ha, jQuery muna, yung materialize JavaScript and then saka yung script dito ha. Script po dito. So ibang class coding ang meron dito. So let's um ito lang siya. Try nga natin i-copy paste pero ulitin natin. So before you copy paste, kailangan niyo ng script element ha. So script and then sa loob niyan saka ayan. Let's see, parang hindi siya nagii-scroll. Kasi nga hindi naman malaki yung screen. So ibalik ko muna. Uh, dito sa baba, pinakababa is gagamit ako ng div with the style of height. And gagawin ko para ma-i-scroll ko is siguro 1,000 pixel. Maglalagay ako ng extra 1,000 pixel. There you go. So as you can see, na-scroll ko na. Sige nga, try nga uli natin yung, ano, try kong i-paste yung script dito. Ayun na. So nagpa-parallax na siya. Okay. But then again, uh, let's go ahead and gawin nating mano-mano. Okay, para masaya. Okay, so it's simple. As you can see here, dalawa kasi yan. Baka i-type nyo lahat guys ha. Dito tayo sa jQuery para mas uh, maikli siya. Minified kasi ang jQuery. Okay, wag ito ha. Mahirap intindihin lalo. So, uh, the first thing that we need to type it, type here would be the dollar sign as usual for initialization okay and then we have the okay so and then for for jQuery this is saw uh, the standard um, codes okay so you don't need to worry too much about this so just uh, follow it so that is dollar sign then document dot ready and then once again it's function and open parenthesis and then we will have bracket here enter then uh, we will be doing we will be calling the parallax now so that's asked on dollar sign parenthesis inside would be a um, single quotation mark dot parallax be careful with the spelling guys because one wrong uh, spelling will it will not work na so parallax okay and then semicolon and then after that, we need to have itong curly brackets and we also need to close it with a parenthesis. And of course, this one. Okay. Semicolon. So, ayan. So, it is definitely working. Okay. But let's go back uh, here. So, we're not done yet with that. So, we will be doing the... Okay, we will be doing, let's go back and see, okay. We will be doing this section part, okay, this one. And then saka natin ilalagay itong pangalawa. So I'm going to show you instead, uh, last time kasi uh, gumagamit tayo ng BR. This time, na-introduce na kasi natin yung section. Let's go ahead and use a section instead. Okay. Alright. Mm-hmm. 
So let's do it. So after this parallax, let's do this section. So let's type in section. Uh, no, actually, let's not do the section element. Let's do a div. A div with a class of section white. This is another way uh, for us to do section. Okay, and then white. And then this is going to be div. Alright. And gamit tayo ng... Um, row this time it's row container para meron talagang ma ma matinding gap dito <laughs> ano po before the, the next photo so let's do this and then we'll be doing an h2 maybe h2 or h3 let's do h2 para malaki laki Mm -hmm. um, the H2 should be parallax. Yes, yeah, so you can see. And then let's do tag it as with the class of header. Because supposedly ito yung header kaya lang nag nav bar tayo. So, e uh, declare natin this one as a uh, header so let's go and do the paragraph let's do p and then for this one because i paragraph tayo dito let's copy paste it here uh -huh. so so far so good Mashadong black so let's type it in here, uh, red. Uh, since may style CSS naman tayo, doon na tayo sa style CSS. So h2 would be, um, color niya is, sige kahit ano muna dyan. And then let me just use the u cube. Yan. And then let me do the font weight is going to be 300 para medyo mapayat ayan and then for the paragraph let's do uh gray let's do gray let's put it here and medyo ibahin natin ng font style or font family so pili tayo ng times new roman Mga serif. There we go. Pwede na siya. Okay. So, uh, we'll do this one na. So, as you can see here, uh, dito na tayo. So, another parallax container. As simple as that. Okay. Let me just... Uh, put it outside. So, this one will be having another div class. Just like what we did here. Ayan, div. Um, kung gusto nyo, copy na lang natin. Anyway, na code naman natin. So, copy natin. And then, this one. Ayusin lang natin yung, ano. Kailangan paganto siya. Ayan, paganoon. Alright, so let's change it to 2. Let's see what happens. Um, let's open this sa web para kitang kita. Let's see. Ayan, meron na tayong parallax. Um, for the parallax, we also have other options. So let's go back to this one. So what are what are our options? So responsive threshold. So it says here the the type would be number, and then you uh, by default it's zero. The minimum width of the screen and pixel where the parallax functionality starts working. So you can actually um, change this option. Okay, you also have your elements. I mean your properties. So for this one, um, 
elements, the DOMM elements the plugin was initialized with, options naman is object, options the instance was initialized with, so medyo advanced na siya. And then, ano naman yung customization natin? So, paano nyo, halimbawa gusto nyo ang parallax natin ay ang height is uh, specific height lang. Ayaw nyo ng ganito. Gusto nyo yung mas, mas maliit. Try natin dito sa baba. Okay? So, ang sabi dito is, all you need to do is to use this. So, let's see. Okay. So, uh, let's first check ano ba yung dineclare nating class. Uh, kung gusto nyo uh, i-customize sa style CSS, kailangan alam nyo kung anong class. Ha? Huh? So, halimbawa ito, gumamit tayo ng with the class of uh, parallax-container. So, as you can see, ang gagamitin natin dito is dot parallax-container. Saka natin siya pwedeng i-customize. So, let's do that here. Ito. Okay. So, i-declare natin dito is parallax or may dot nga pala. Sorry. parallax dash container okay and then as usual your curly brackets tama ba bakit may yellow na ano okay and then um height ang papalitan natin so um naka default daw siya na 500 pixel so itong height niya so try natin gawing um 200 pixel px don't forget the px ha as you can see, lumiit na siya. Naging 200 pixel na lang siya. Try natin 2,000 pixels. Masyadong malaki. But, sa sobrang laki niya, hindi na siya nag uh, paparalax. So, so, let's delete that. I'm, I'm good with 500 px, your default. So, I'm good with that. So, there you go. So, that's uh, basically your parallax. Uh, this is it. That's it. Okay? Ayan. So, nagpa-parallax siya. Okay?